we are looking at the newest townhomes to hit the market. Now, I might be slightly confusing because these townhomes were actually built in 2022. As you can see behind me, they have a nice cool look. It is called the Modern, but it's the first time they're on the market and it's in a great location. So our tour today is gonna be inside a staged unit at the Modern. 47 total units here are going to be sold or rented or part of the community, let's just say that. And right here is where we are at on Breezewood Drive. I'm gonna show you a little video driving in on 221. You can come in on 221 and turn at Aldi or you can come down 501 South and jump off an exit right there, but you are close to a bunch of stuff. 10 minutes to Liberty University, 10 minutes to downtown, 10 minutes to University of Lynchburg, 15 minutes to Randolph, as I said, you have the Aldi right here, you have Fresh Market, you got a Sheets, you have St. Arbucks, all within like two minutes of this place. In this community right here with only 47 townhomes, the amenities are not gonna be that many. So you're not gonna have a clubhouse, a workout room, you're not gonna have a pool. Typically to make numbers work, you're looking at about 200 units or so to have a pool, maybe even a clubhouse, something like that. But this one doesn't have those things but it does have a great location and really cool aesthetics if you like those kind of aesthetics. And I do. HOA fee here, $155 per month, and that includes Lumos high-speed fiber optic internet. I had not planned on matching, but I do match the front door. Got my one of my Turkey Trot shirts on, covering up my chubbiness. I don't know if I told you this, but I'm gonna start getting in shape again. And I ran yesterday for the first time after a few Oreos, but we're gonna get after it again. We're gonna slim down a little bit. Why might someone want to live in a place like this or any townhouse? Low maintenance, you have people taking care of things like exterior maintenance, um, the grounds, mowing, wherever mowing needs to be done. And do you know how popular townhomes are here in Lynchburg? Let me tell you as soon as we get inside. So let's talk a minute about the townhouse business here in Lynchburg. Starting in 2020, going up to 2024 currently, 2020 townhouse sales made up 9% of residential sales. 2021, they were at 11%, 2022, 12%, 2023, 13%. And in the first quarter of 2024, we're at 15 plus percent of sales for residential homes in Lynchburg being townhomes. They're very popular, very popular for a number of reasons, as I said. One, low maintenance outside. Two, convenience. Sometimes if you have main level living, if you're trying to downsize, so you don't have to take care of things outside and you have good, easy living inside. Three, rentability. And we're gonna talk about that specifically with this area as well in just one minute. Some college parents, are buying townhomes as a real easy way. They can be out of town. They don't have to worry about cutting the grass, taking care of things. And then they rent it out to their students slash children and their friends. That's a really good option to do as well. Let's get after a tour here. And then as we go, I'm gonna tell you something about Airbnb, short-term rental. Now is as good a time as any to remind you, I am JD Miller. I work with that little international real estate company. EXP Realty, and I would love it if you go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to this video. If you wanna get in contact with me about anything Lynchburg, Virginia, real estate related, there's the number. Feel free to shoot me a text, send me an email, give me a call anytime. I would love to help you no matter what your needs are. Buy, sell, invest, we got it. All right, here we are inside wide open living space let me give you some measurements here so you know what you're looking at. You can look at these on the listing, of course, but I like to just bring my handy dandy measuring device out and give you a little sense of what we're looking at. 20 feet, four inches from the fireplace over here to the stair wall where I'm at. And then if we go all the length of this room from the front windows to the back wall, 37 feet, two inches. That's pretty wide open. As you can see right over here, we have a little half bath. Then on this wall, we have the fireplace. It really is a fantastic 
place. Come with me. Right in here, you have your hot water heater, which is tucked away back here, your electrical box, and your panel for your Lumos router, modem, whatever. I'm not a computer guy. It's in there. And then right over in this direction, you have your dining area. Really good space. Double big glass sliding doors for lots of light. Let me give you this measurement as well. 11 feet, seven inches. And if we measure from the edge of this wall in, six feet, five inches. If we measure from the edge of the countertop, 11 feet, eight inches. The kitchen space here is great. Quartz countertop. I like the different color of the cabinets, that darker tone. I like the wood floor, the kind of lighter tone of the floor, but not too light. And then of course the cabinets have this dovetail drawers right here and they're all soft clothes. It's a very good space, four feet between edge to edge of the countertop right there. Soft closed cabinet as well. And if you move over here next to the fridge, of course we have this nice little pantry area right here for all your canned goods. Nice feature of the countertop here also is as you're sitting at these stools, you have an outlet here on the end so you can plug in your speaker or your phone if you need to charge while you're sitting at the countertop. It's not called the modern for nothing. We got some modern techniques here with the metal railing as we work our way up the stairs. You can hear me clunking my way up. Really good space, over 1,700 square feet in this home. Three bed, two full bath, one half bath. As you come up the top of the stairs, your two bedrooms, number two and three, are gonna be off to the left. You have your full bath right here, one vanity, and the shower tub insert. I like this tile floor. See this tile? But hold on, I got something else to show you. You got big space over here, stackable washer and dryer. Really big closet here for linen, extra spacious, very nice. And then over here is your access to your HVAC system. All right, we move into the primary. Let me give you measurements on this. Anyone want to guess how high the ceiling is? Nine foot ceilings in here. Nine foot. Let me give you the size of the room. 15, one. By 11, 11 plus, maybe 12. 15 one by maybe 12. Luxury vinyl plank flooring, and this is what I love. I do love the dark tile. I'm a fan of that. So we have the double vanities, good looking guy, and a walk-in shower, plastic bottom with a tiled wall. And right back here we have our closet. Let's talk for a moment about short-term rentals. This community, The Modern, is located in Lynchburg City, so neither the city nor the HOA preclude short-term rentals here. This could be important to you if you're an investor and you wanna be in a place where legally you can rent it out long-term, short-term, or you can live there. You wanna be careful, some counties and some HOAs will not allow you to do short-term rental. This one, all on the up and up, you can do it. I do have a little bit of homework to do. You see all the back here. There's no fence between the units and I'm not sure if you're allowed to do that or not. I'll have to ask Chris, he can fill me in. And hey, when you reach out to me, I'll have an answer for you to let you know if you can put any privacy fences up here along the back. Now, if you're quiet, let's be quiet for a moment and see if you can hear that. A little bit of road noise back there from 501. That's a big deal to you. You want to be aware of it for sure. Whoa, 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 what's going on? There we go. Lock in. If 
road noise is a big deal to you, you want to be aware of this and maybe make a trip in person to just see and feel and hear what it sounds like so you're comfortable here. Or you can buy it remote if that's not a big deal to you. Have I ever told you that I've sold numerous places remote with people not even coming to see the house until they close? Yes, it can be done. That does it for our tour of the modern. The most recent townhomes to hit the market here in Lynchburg, Virginia and the most modern aesthetic that you're going to find here in this area. If you're interested in more information on the modern, feel free to hit me up. You have my name, you have my number, shoot me a text, send me an email, give me a good old fashioned ring-a-ding or any other homes in the Lynchburg, Virginia area. I'm here for you and I will see you on the next video.